Rehoboam, which was a king, he became king. Rehoboam, he decided to put harsh hardship on the people of God. Mm -hmm. He decided to put calamity. He decided to put oh, the, the, the strong hand against the people. And so the people say, I'm not going for that. I'm leaving. And so then caused the split between Israel and Judah. And so now you have two different nations, two different cities and people all involved, and you have a split. And so you have kings, and this world has become a doggy dog world. Because now these kings are fighting against one another. How many of y'all remember back in the 90s, they used to say a doggy dog world? It meant that everything was going, uh, that there was a lot of things going in the wrong direction. Amen? Uh -huh. And so when you look at the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, you begin to see people who are after position and status. And as I told you, greed begin to creep in because uh, even in one, in one scripture, in chapter 16 of 1 Kings, verse 8, there was a man, uh, he was looking at his king, Elah. And Elah was the king, but his servant was watching him. His servant was looking at him and saying, oh, I can't wait for him to go down. Yeah. Elah began to drink one night. And he got drunk until the Bible says he, he drunk himself drunk. And so, in other words, they would call that a stupor or yeah. unconsciousness. Uh -huh. And so when he drunk himself to that point, the man came and slew him, King Zimri, and made himself king. It was a doggy dog world. They, it, they were all after position and status. And I'm waiting for you to slip so that I can get in and become king. Uh -huh. Kings marry outside of who God chose. They would choose paganism. Mm -hmm. And the, this paganism would cause the kings to turn to the gods of their wives. Uh -huh. Do you remember Jezebel? Most of y'all know Jezebel. How many of y'all got children named Jezebel? <laughs> See, none of us would name our child Jezebel because we know the stipulation that comes with it. But Jezebel, oh God, Jezebel was a woman uh, that, that turned King Ahab's heart away from God. Mm -hmm. And he married her, but the interesting fact about Jezebel is that she did not want him to leave his God. She just wanted him to worship hers too. Amen. And so as they brought this other God in, Ahab built a temple for her God. Now when you think about that, that's crazy. You're building a temple for something that's supposed to be a God. Mm -hmm. Now, if you got to build something for the God and carry your God all the way in here <laughs> and shine up your God, that can't be God. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. And some of us, we, uh, uh, we, we get in trouble when our houses become our God. Yes, sir. Or, or we get in trouble when our jobs become our, become our God. We, yes, we get in trouble when our car becomes our God. And so what Jezebel did is they brought this statue in and they began to worship at the statue. And, 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 and what, what gets us in trouble is when you're in between two opinions. Because you got your God and then you got her God and then now you're double-minded and you don't even know how to get out of what you're in. Come on now. I heard one writer say, even frogs will not jump out of the water if it first, if it boils at a slow pace. Yes, sir. Do you understand? I looked at scientists and, and what they do is they would examine a frog and put them in the water. And if it's hot already, they'll jump out. Yes, sir. But if you start to gradually heat the water, the frog will boil himself to death. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's like when we get caught in something and we're halfway into God and we're halfway into everything else. Come on, I'm one way on Sunday and then I'm different on Wednesday. Come on, that they don't know you the same person. They say, oh, I didn't know he was a reverend or I didn't know she was a preacher. Yes. Because there's a difference. And, and you're in trouble when you're battling with two opinions and you have not made a distinction between the God that you serve. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. I remember I got upset with my sister uh, when I when I got saved because I had all type of music. I had Tupac and I had 50 Cent and all that stuff going on. And I had it in my car. I had my whole CD case. And my sister went in and threw out all my CDs. <laughs> 
all my money invested into it. And she said, you said you were saving, right? Come on. Why you still got this music in me? And I couldn't argue. I couldn't pull the scripture for that one. I, I couldn't say, well, uh, yeah, you right. But why you had to throw them away? Why you couldn't just hire them all? But when you really want to serve God, you, you start to come out of that old stuff and say, Lord, Lord I, I know this has been a stronghold for me, but I'm willing to serve you, so I have to release some things that, that, I, that I've been, that's been holding me down. Somebody shout amen. amen. So kings marry into paganism. King Ahab married Jezebel. All the kings were, were marrying people outside of who God had chosen for them to marry. They call that syncretism. So there was danger in the land. 